Well, hello there. I'm Pete LaFrance, the old growler. Welcome to Meeting Expectations. What we do here is we take a look at a can of beer. Right there we go. A bottle of beer. Sometimes a spirit or a wine will stop by. Why? We're all friends in fermentation, believe you me. All right. Now, there's three things we do here that are a little bit different from most folks. What we do is we always have the same style of glassware for all of our beers. That way nobody has a leg up as far as clarity or aromatics. Also, when I do my tastings, most people, they take a look, they sniff, sip, and let you know what they think. Well, wine expert Fred Dex, he taught me to sip and then sniff. Click up there, he explains it a lot better than I do. And finally, all beer should be served at the correct temperature. Lagers between 37 and 47 degrees Fahrenheit, ales between 50 and 55 degrees Fahrenheit. <clears throat> the folks at Thermoworks sent me a lollipop thermometer and I use that to test all of the beers that we taste here. There is a link in the description box below if you want some more information. All right, what do we have today? This was interesting when I uh, picked it up off the shelf. Sometimes I go down the, <coughs> the, the shelf when I'm in my local beer store and uh, I see a, a label, it looks interesting, I pick it up, buy it, there's no problem to it, get it home and go, wait a minute, what the heck is this? Okay, four, <coughs> it's not $22.99. Uh, divide, uh, divide $23 by four. And you'll get to what this uh, this wonderful ale is. It's a hazy, uh, well, I don't know if it's wonderful or not, but it's an interesting one. Check this out. All right. It is a hazy IPA from the Prison Pals Brewing Company. It is their queen beer. Craft beer, one pint, six fluid ounces, made in Doral. All uh, right, we'll find out where that is. It is called Queen Beer, craft beer, one fluid ounce, or 16 fluid ounces. Hazy IPA Queen, taste freedom, escape your prison, keep refrigerated. I'd rather not keep refrigerated. I'd kind of like to stay outside, but that's quite all right. Okay, it says H, there's an HH above this. Uh, their trademark is weird, so you're gonna have to look it up. Established in 2020, it is the HH Prison Pals Brewing Company. And the name of this thing is Queen. More likely to blow your head off. Like literally, this hazy IPA has no filt, no, sh no sugar, George. <clears throat> this hazy IPA has no filter and gives a D stick stick stink, just as the Queen of Hearts. Treat her like you would any queen. 6.2% alcohol by volume, brewed and canned by Prison Pals Brewing Company, 8302 Northwest 14th Street, Doral, Florida, 33126. Important warning, do not be a pregnant woman or operate heavy machinery. All uh, right, what else? Uh, Puerto Rico, do not litter. Couldn't say anything about any other area. It's got a little mark here, the, this, the bars. It's got some kind of a hop thing. Support your local brewery. Brewers Association Independent Craft Beer. But you, you take a look at that. It, it, oh yeah, the Queen of Hearts I can see there with the, the illustration. There's no problem with that. No, no problem with that, I can see that right there. Okay. But I do, I, I just this is my being a, a <clears throat> some people think I'm a journalist, but the prison panels queen, that just the name kind of makes me wonder. A hazy IPA, it doesn't tell me anything else about uh, IBUs or anything. It just tells me that it's 6.2% alcohol by volume. And it's supposed to uh, take my head off. All right, well, let's see if it meets expectations. Yep, it's hazy. Yep, it's lazy. Uh, 
Not to be crude, but good head. Okay, it looks like a hazy IPA. Let's see. We're going to take its temperature. <clears throat> Forty-eight degrees Fahrenheit, so it's a little chilly to be out in the exercise yard. Well, it's the right temperature. It looks like it. Let's take a swig and see if it is. Cheers. You'll notice I took two sips. The reason for that, <clears throat> the reason for that is my taste buds. They spend most of the time in suspended animation. They really just don't care unless they're sitting down to dinner. And this is not dinner, but this is work for them and they don't like to work. So I had to wake them up, give them something to think about. Let's go in for the first nose dive. I'm not getting much of anything on that. I'm really trying. I mean, it, <clears throat> there's there's a little bit of her, uh, herbaceousness, kind of like um, walking in a. I'm not quite the forest, but you kind of a off the beaten path there, in between uh, in between the fields. But let's see if the taste buds can add anything to it. There's a sweetness there. This is it. If this was supposed to be bitter, this is more Queen Elizabeth and Anne Boleyn. There's not. It's balanced, but there, there's. It's, it's there. The body, medium. It's not as lush as it looks. As you can see, the head has gone down considerably. Um, I'm going to double check the IPA on this because 6.2, it shouldn't, it shouldn't have fallen that quickly. That, that fell quicker than Louis the 14th. But, well, all right, well, it does. I, I, I came in expecting only a hazy IPA. So I've got to say that. Uh, but as far as the, as the title and the names and all that kind of good stuff, does Prison Pals Queen meet expectations? It says it was a hazy IPA. It's a hazy IPA. All right. Well, if you like this presentation, please click on the subscribe button and a thumbs up. A share would be great and comments would be really appreciated. I'm Pete LaFrance, the old growler, hoping all of your beers meet expectations.